Love Goddess Tarot. My name's Maureen. I'm so happy that you're here today. This is a pick a card love reading. And to all my subscribers that are back, hi guys, I feel you out there. Thank you so much for your love and for all your stories and how you're connecting with the readings. It is so exciting. I love it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It's so easy and it's free. All you have to do is click the button here and be or below. Um, and as my give back, I do one free reading every month for a subscriber. All you have to do is click like, subscribe, and write your love question below. Okay, so today we're going to just look at love. What's coming? Who's your love? Who's your next boyfriend? What's going on? And please, as always, get cozy because I have my tea. Um, and I like everyone at Love Goddess to be relaxed and having fun. Here's my cup. Isn't it so cute? Um, so you guys get cozy and comfy. Pause the video. You can play this in the background, which a lot of people have told me they do, and they just listen to the whole thing and choose what works for you, or um, you can pick a pile that you're drawn to. This is pile number one, which is the illuminated tarot, pile two, which is the ethereal, and pile three, Rider white. Thought it would be fun to do three different decks today. So, Get yourself cozy, get your drink or snack, and um, I'll be right back with your reading. Everyone, you picked the pile with the illuminated tarot, which is so beautiful. I love this deck. Um, and not only are we going to look at your tarot cards, and we're going to do oracle cards, moon cards, earth cards, animal cards, and... I have new channeled messages today, um, which came through, which I thought would be fun. I have the channeled messages from before, as well as initials and charm. So, big day. Huge. Huge. Okay, this is it. This is biggie. Get relaxed. Be cozy. Here we go. Okay, so we have the three of diamonds, the nine of spades, these are such beautifully illustrated cards. The Seven of Clubs. The Six of Spades under there. The King of Clubs under that. The Queen of Hearts. Oh my gosh, you're the Queen of Hearts. I love it. Um, the Eight of Hearts. Okay, beautiful, which is actually the moon in this deck. The Ace of Diamonds, which is the world in this deck. Okay, major, major, and death, major. Okay, so you've got three major arcanas. Don't get freaked out about this. Um, I see how it's all working, and let's get started. Okay, because it's all good. Good news all around. Okay, here's your beautiful reading. Um, we're going to start with you right here. And what I see is that... Um, we're starting with the three of diamonds and then we're moving to the moon card and this is a reversal of what would be the six of swords okay which is about moving on making a transition leaving something behind so i feel like for some of you guys um you may have been in a relationship with an earth sign or you could be an earth sign which would be taurus capricorn virgo energy coming through right now um and you are moving away from something that you thought you were building. So I do feel like with the three, there could, for some of you, be an outside person. Um, you know, threes are always kind of a little triangle. Um, but also this is about like building something together. And I feel like, you know, you were staying in something or you're staying in something that doesn't feel right. And you, you're really like you're beginning to realize that this is not for you and you're moving away from anything or anyone that isn't willing to like put in the work, isn't willing to, you know, make it, make a serious relationship. Cause I'm getting a very serious vibe here. Um, and I feel like that's the place that you're in right now. Um, and then what I see next for you is that you have had some worries. This this is all about being up at night and like things on your mind and worries, okay? Um, and then you have this beautiful king of spades, which is the fire sign. So this would be a Sag, Aries, or Leo male energy coming in with the world card behind it. So I do feel like there's a fire sign male energy who's coming in, who's going to take away a lot of those worries. And 
you know, if you're single and you've been like, hey, where's my boyfriend? Where's my relationship? Okay, it's not coming. I'm so sick of being alone. I'm up at night. I'm upset. I'm sad. You know, some of you could even be crying. Um, you know, and just some of you could have lots of worries in life in general, and you want someone to help you and share, like you want some fun. That's what I'm getting. It's like you've been, you have a lot of troubles on your mind, or you're just tired of being alone, and you're looking for someone to share the and bring fun and bring partnership. And this male energy that's coming through is fun. This is the fire king. He's all about the fun. This is a creative type. This could be um, just somebody that's like passionate. They don't have to be a fire sign, but they could have rising moon, um, Venus, something in uh, a fire sign, Leo, Aries or Sag. Um, but this is a person who's going to like really complete your world, who's going to also open things up. I love this card of the world because it really shows like space. Um, and I'm really drawn to Saturn there because I feel like this person is like you put you you have dreamed of this person and they're going to be like serious. I get with that Saturn planet there that I'm really drawn to that. Um, and also these cards, the purple is so strong. I'm really feeling it for you purple people, <laughs> purple people out there. Um, but that's a very spiritual color. And, you know, that is... That's what I'm picking up on here, that this person is really going to get you. And I feel like some of you have been dreaming about this person before they have even appeared, okay? So if that's you, please write your comments below because I'm really connecting with this. Um, I'd love to hear your stories, but yeah, this is really strong and really beautiful. And Major Arcana, which is always about a major chapter in your life, like you're about to come into a major chapter. I feel like some of you have just had major endings, okay? Because we do have the death card here, and it's like um, there's some been some struggle in relationship, and you're the queen of hearts, you're the queen of cups, you could be a water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, um, or you could just be a caring person, a mom, somebody who has kids, somebody who cares about others, somebody who's nurturing, um, somebody who loves to cook, somebody who, you know, it, it works at a restaurant, is a baker, a chef, like I'm picking up on this sort of nurturing energy, okay? Um, but that is stuck in between this like back and forth with this old energy, which is coming to an end. And the good news is, because I feel like when you look at this, um, all three of the bottom cards are these major arcana. It's like, it's like your intuition is right. Your world is about to change. And that past part is over. You have something beautiful and new coming through. So I love this energy for you. Um, let's get some more details about... Um, the person coming in for you, number one. I'm going to pull some um, of the animal spirit cards. So let's look at those first. And then we'll pull some other advice cards and things. And I'm going to do, you know, the channeled messages, the charms, and initials too. So we really find out who is this fire sign person? Um, what information can we get about him? But yeah, this is just, I love these. I just love this reading. It feels very like, I'm just really drawn to the purple and to the like outer space and the universe and like you being at a moment when you're really going to connect with your, um, with your divine um, feminine. And I just, I just feel it. I feel like you're about to be moving into this really powerful new phase um, and this person is going to help you. Look at this turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. Yes, I was definitely picking up on that. Um, between the back and forth with the seven up there and the three of pentacles, it's like, it's like something has been building. You've been stuck for a little while or the person coming in has been stuck and you guys haven't been able to come together yet. Um, vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. Yeah, definitely that feeling of don't give up. 
this person is somebody who is worth waiting for. Um, and bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. Wow, right under that death card, the rebirth is assured. This is a new beginning for you. And I feel like it's a new beginning for this person as well. Um, let's get some characteristics of um, the person as well as like where you might meet. Oops, okay, that one wanted to come out. So let's see what that, oh, you know what? If you guys have been watching me, whoever's out there that's getting dragonfly please write your comments below this is such a big moment for you um do you have green eyes because this person and if they're not green do you just have mesmerizing blue green eyes or just beautiful beautiful eyes um brown hazel but this keeps coming up and i am so drawn to this card um and i feel like it's really about you coming out this person is going to bring out the best in you um vision quest okay so um finally fire passion yeah that's confirmation about the fire sign energy um aries sag leo for sure um some of you this person could be from if you're in the states um the desert southwest or the west um for some of you this person doesn't live close by now um and they are in the process of getting closer to you so maybe you'll meet online maybe you'll meet on a vacation maybe you met on a vacation maybe you met when you were traveling or you know this person from when you went to school out there um and it's just for those of you that aren't in the States, it's like somebody who is in a different place, but it's like you guys are on this quest. You will be together. They are, you're going to meet and there's going to be so much fire and so much passion that it's like the real you is going to come out. You are emerging and this relationship, I'm so excited. I love this reading, is really going to help you like really show who you are. Um, this is very empowering. I feel that this person is an empowering person and I feel like they're also very wealthy and creative. They may even like own their own production company or like I'm getting like movie industry or um, entertainment of some sort. Let's see what else we get in timing. The answers you need are coming. Yeah, full moon in Gemini. Definitely feeling that this is going to move quickly once it starts. This is like something that is taken a long time, but then once you meet, it takes off. That's the energy that I'm getting. It's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. And you did get that death card as well as bat spirit. The rebirth is assured. So I do feel like for some of you, you've been through like a major transformation. Maybe you lost someone. Maybe you ended a relationship that's very painful or you went through a divorce. Or maybe you're just in a new chapter in your life. You're graduating from college or you know, you're know you moving out on your own or you're getting your own place for the first time. But I feel like you know there's something that is really changing within you. Um, beautiful. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Wow. Um, the energy is feeling new. And we do have a couple of air signs here. We have Gemini and Libra energy too. Um, but Libra is really all about partnership and balance. And I feel like this person is going to be such a breath of fresh air um, in terms of your love experience because I don't feel like you've gotten this kind of person before and this is the energy that you your soul really wants to bring in. Um, speaking of soul, let's pull this perfect timing there. I didn't mean to do that, but let's pull one of these and see what messages we get for you guys and advice got ooh warrior woman i love when this comes up um and this is this is that air sign okay this is that gemini libra um aquarius some of you could be air signs um warrior woman have you answered your deepest calling and it's you got vision quest you have the full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. And you know, um, this is a timeless reading, but it's almost the full moon in Scorpio. So 
I'm probably going to be posting this right around that time, which is wild. Um, so I think for you guys, that that connection for me means that whenever you're watching this, this is going to happen pretty quickly. I would expect this to happen pretty quickly. Um, and this is beautiful because this is empowering. Um, this person is going to empower you and you're moving towards really embracing who you are. This relationship is going to give you power and strength. Um, I'm super excited about this. I love it. Let's get some initials and see who this person is. Number one. Wow. Okay. So there must be a lot of people watching this one and we have lots of initials. We have G. We have D. We have C. We have X. Okay. We have S and T. And another D. So two Ds. An R. And you guys can see if this spells anything. And if it does, an E, please write it below. Um, and a Q. Okay, wow. So you have a lot to work with there. Some of these could be initials. Some of them could actually be words or names. Um, and let's do the channeled messages. And then I'm going to do your new channeled messages that I just came um, that just came to me today because those will be really interesting as well. Okay, love takes time. Funny. I did feel that. I felt with that turtle spirit that this is something that maybe for some of you has even been brewing for a while. Like maybe you've been in touch with this person or maybe you met and went out on a date and then now you're finally starting to come together or will soon. And then once you do, it's going to take off. Gym. Okay, this person works out, likes to go to the gym. You may meet at the gym. Dating app. I was definitely getting the dating app vibe for some of you. Um, there's the black t-shirt guy. If that's my friend that wrote to me, oh my gosh, this is so wild. Um, thank you for all your stories, by the way. I was amazed at that reading. Okay, hazel eyes. Wow, the eyes could be you or them. I'm really, I felt that emergence card for you. I felt like your eyes are really polo shirt. Okay, so the shirt thing is coming up. The yard um, and hot. Okay, so this person is, and besides, the, you got the fire sign, and you got hot, so literally hot. Okay, um, let's do the new channeled ones, and what I'm going to do is use the focus moon instead of the focus palm. I love this. Um, this, by the way, is the Libra constellation, in case you guys were wondering what stars those were. Um, but yeah, let's just see what dropped. I'm going to drop them and see what lands. Okay, so these are yours. LA. Wow, that's funny because I got that vision quest thing. I got the West thing and um the you know that deserty, the fires, the the entertainment industry, the creative person. I was definitely feeling that. If you guys have a story about LA, please write it below. I'd love to hear it. Pizza. Okay. Yeah, there was a lot of food stuff. Um beard. Okay. And beer. Yeah, I got a lot of food messages today as well as like just random things and I just write them down. Train ride. Okay, wow. So some of you have a story about a train ride. I would love, love to hear that. Um, now what I'm going to do is pull some charms for you. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. Now turn down your volume. I'm going to make a little noise. Okay, let's see what we have. I was loving, oh look, the Viking ship. That I always get that fiery feeling. The Viking, almost red hair too. Um, but this can also just be Norway. This can just be travel. Um, it'll mean different things for different people. It could be sailing. Um, just somebody who's adventurous. Somebody who's literally like a pirate. Somebody who's a little unconventional. Um, and somebody who's far away at the moment or mo just moved here. But I am getting that separated. Um, heart, which means to me that um, 
the person could be far away. Um, I also got this charm, which is funny. It means be patient. It doesn't look like it means be patient, but I have my reason for that. Don't worry. Um, that's the message that I get. This is true love. I've got another heart. So you got two hearts. We got the dream catcher. So this is the dream, someone you've been dreaming of. There's a pinnacle here. This could mean rich, money, um, you know, well off, um, share your same values. We got the princess, which is like, this person will treat you like, oh, look at this. I didn't even see this. This is the pirate thing. <laughs> and that's what I felt like with this ship. This person is like Johnny Depp and Pirates of the Caribbean. Not like completely, but you know what I mean. A little bit different, a little bit like goes their own way, does their own thing. Um, and you're going to find out information about this person soon. Um, and you're gonna, this is gonna be someone you're gonna wanna attach to anchor. They're gonna wanna be with you. Um, and then this is interesting because this could be like a coffee shop or they love coffee, you love coffee. Somehow um, you made it a restaurant. There could be they own a restaurant. There's some sort of connection for that as well. And everybody's charms will mean something else. Um, but I love it. And please tell me, you guys, about either the train ride or like the pizza and beer or L.A. thing. I just I want to hear. I love your stories. And it just is amazing to connect with you guys. I hope this helped. I'm sending you so much love. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. It's free, it's easy, and it helps so much. And throw me a like, that helps too. Um, and I have other videos and playlists you can check out. I'm sending you so much love. Please take care. I'll talk to you guys soon. Number two, you picked the Ethereal Visions, which is a beautiful deck. Love it. Um, not only am I going to look at your tarot cards for this love reading, we are going to get initials. We have channeled messages, and I have some new channeled messages that just came through today, which I'm going to use the little moon focus palm well it's not a palm but it's a moon <laughs> as well as oracle cards so get comfy get cozy as i always say um and as a matter of fact i'm going to take a sip of my tea if you don't mind hold on because i haven't yet i'm doing peppermint today in my cute little mug um it really helps me and um I know it will help you too, just to be comfortable. Okay, so let's go. Let's see what's coming up for you in love. First card is this chariot reversed. Let me move these over. I have so many decks out today. The ace of wands. Ooh, beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys, you got the lover's card. Yes. Hello. Happy. Yeah. The Seven of Cups. This is such a funny Seven of Cups, but um, anyway, we'll get back to that. The Five of Pentacles. Okay. And then you have the King of Swords reversed under the Lovers. The Empress reversed. Okay. And the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Wow. Okay. So we have two air sign energies, the King and Queen and the Seven of Wands. Okay. So let me take a quick look and let's start right here with you. So the first thing that I'm getting is that you, I think, have been a little bit confused. Whenever we have the Seven of Cups, it means there's lots of choices. Or it can mean like you're just dreaming. If you're not in a relationship, you're just imagining like who who's coming in, um, who is this person going to be. If you have been dating, you know, there's like lots of people. You don't know who's good and who's not. Maybe you're on a dating app and it's like swipe left, swipe right. I don't know. My God, look at this. Um, and you don't feel like you're in control to some degree. And I know that happens a lot of times with, even with dating apps and stuff, and just in general these days, it's like you don't really feel like you have you have the power in this. It's like, what am I waiting for? I'm waiting for this person to show up. No, all you have to do, no matter if you're a traditional person and you want some guy to ask you out, or if you're not traditional and you'd rather just go for it yourself, it's all about just being yourself, okay? Because whatever you are or whatever your personality is or whatever works for you is what matters. It doesn't matter about anyone else, okay? Um, and with the Empress reversed, I feel like the message for you is to focus 
focus on yourself and self-care because you haven't felt like you have been in control and you've been like confused either by like people you've dated in the past or people that weren't what they pr pr seem to be, which is what I get from this card a lot. I'm picking up on it's like you may have been deceived by someone or you may have just felt they didn't show up or they weren't what they said they were or you you know you, you pick them online on one of the apps and they show up and it's not them okay it's not the person they put on the thing you know i mean i hate the worst case scenario would be catfished but i'm just getting in general that the people around you haven't really shown up or been who they were and you're not sure who's fake and who's real and you don't feel like you're in control for some reason okay or haven't in the past okay but here we have what's going on right now and here we have this beautiful queen of swords and i feel like you guys could be an air sign libra aquarius gemini or just somebody who's really smart you could you know you could be a virgo someone who's using their head um who's really practical and thinking things through through and you've gotten really clear that's what's coming across you've gotten really clear and you've had this offer you have this love offer this this beautiful like gift from the universe you know you have something some new creative like somebody coming um and you've just gotten through maybe a difficult time you could have like felt you know, either physically like you lost your job and you didn't have money or you just felt disconnected from family and friends. Um, you know, sometimes we just feel really lonely and it's like, hello, does anyone notice that I'm really upset? But all that's changing and you've gotten this new sort of gift and this new idea or this new inspiration, whether it's a job or a person coming in, but there's something really beautiful coming to you. Um, and when we look here, we see the lover's card. So this is true love. This is a true soulmate. This is your mate, your match. This is the king of swords, okay? Now, I do feel like he's taking his time right now, um, and he's being a little defensive. So we don't know whether he's being defensive literally, like he's in your life and he's not showing that he really cares as much as he does. Um, he could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, or just somebody who has those kind of placements, either sun, moon, rising. Um, but... This is a beautiful reading for you. Okay, you got the lovers. This is soulmate energy. This person is your divine person. Um, and they are going to get there. They're just taking a little bit of time. And they just have to let down their defenses a little. They're a little shy, a little reserved, a little standoffish. There's something that's keeping them or holding them back a little at the moment. But not for long. Okay, you guys, this is the best. So, I mean, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. When you get the king and queen in the same sign, same sign, yeah, they're, they are the same sign, but in the same suit, which is swords, um, this is a perfect match. And you got the lover's card. So it's like, oh my gosh, this is such beautiful energy. Um, I'm beyond excited. And this is beautiful. So let's see what details we can get about this person for you if they haven't shown up yet or um, in case you know them and you want to like say, hey, who is this person? Um, let's get some from the earth cards first. We'll see what's going on here. And then we'll pull initials and charms and get some channeled messages, especially those new ones that I did today. Um, lightning power ooh okay so there's so much electricity you guys will be literally sparking when you meet okay so that's how you're going to know i mean this person is literally going to be like a lightning storm um dna karma this really is a karmic relationship we did get the lover's card so i was definitely feeling that soulmate energy and it's interesting because this card shows um, the two snakes wrapped around together and it's like soulmate energy. It's the two. It's the perfect match. Um, just like your king and queen. You guys are really, really alike. I feel like whatever you like, this person's going to like. Like you're going to like the same music or food or you're just going to agree about things. You can talk to this person. Um, green man, synergy. Yeah, this person is literally just going to 
fit into your world so easily that it's like you don't even notice. It's like somehow for some of you, they may have even come in as a friend and you're like, hey, you're kind of sneaky. I didn't even realize you were that cute. Like you've snuck into my life. How did this happen? Um, but I'm definitely feeling that. And it's like you're two friends, you're two playmates. Like I'm just seeing this. I'm seeing this really fun energy. I'm getting a very strong Gemini vibe too. Um, but let's pull some more cards and see what descriptions we can get about this person. But tons of chemistry, electric, okay? This is hot, hot, hot. Um, giraffe spirits, see the big picture. This, yeah, this person is somebody who is like, not small. This is somebody who's like been around, seen things, has a great perspective on life. Somebody that is not like stuck in their little rut. They're very open. Um, porcupine spirit, time for beginner's mind. So this is just about starting again. Then this person has to kind of release their defenses a little bit or be a little bit less shy. When I see that porcupine spirit, that's what I'm picking up on is that he is like someone that, um, you know, is like protecting themselves a little bit. Oh, I love dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. This is such a great card. Um, he is a totally loyal person. Um, I'm definitely getting like beautiful, beautiful eyes. Um, like those soft brown eyes that you just like, oh, so cute. Um, and just like someone who is around you, someone who's loyal, someone who's protective, definitely picking up on the protective energy as well. Um, let's pull some moon cards and we'll see some timing here with this relationship. And then I'll do the letters. Okay. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. Okay. Have faith in your dreams. I love this. Okay. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. Okay. Yeah. I do feel like for some of you, this person you do know, and they're kind of driving you crazy. <laughs> okay. And um, the universe is saying, hold your vision. You know, don't give up on this person. I know they're driving you crazy. Maybe they're making you wait. Maybe they're not moving in the way in the time that you want. But you did get that that beautiful soulmate, the lover's card. So it's divine. And I know that's a pain in the neck. And I hate saying it because I know it drives people crazy. And I don't want to trigger you. But I know sometimes we have to wait. Um, but you're getting a message of having faith and to believe in your dreams. So this person is the beautiful lover that you wanted. This is the lover's card. This is the perfect soulmate. So I do think it's worth waiting for. And you got the, the king and queen of swords. It's like, you guys are together. You're the same. It's like worth waiting for. I know that's kind of a pain, but let's see what the soul advice card is. And then we'll do initials for you. Um, but it's so beautiful to get the lover's card. Oh my God, look at that lightning. Wait, propose, pause, saying, look at that. See, I think he's driving you crazy and you're going to just have to be patient because there is such electricity and there's such a connection there. Um, but I do feel like he's the one that's going to pause it or has paused it or it's just taking his sweet time. Like if you don't know him yet, he's just like energetically so slow. <laughs> it's like, okay, hurry up already. We know you're out there. Come on in. Um, so I am getting that message for you guys. Uh, let's get some channeled messages and then initials. We'll do those. Okay. Dark skin. Brave. Okay. You did get the king of swords energy. It's like your knight in shining armor. Curly hair. Okay. Cute. Um, hard working. Love that. Okay. Travel. You could meet through traveling. He could, you know, love to travel. You could love to travel. Front porch. Oh, how cute. Okay. These can also be lyrics to songs or something. Your arms. Wow. He's got beautiful arms. Um, picking up on this gorgeous dark haired guy with curly hair and dark skin who's really strong and has beautiful arms. Okay. I'm loving it. Can I claim this reading? <laughs> okay. Let's go. I'm getting a very, very good feeling about about this person and that porcupine spirit you know I just want to say this because it's coming in I get the feeling that like sometimes he can be a little like almost seem 
a little bit prickly, but he's not. Once you get to know him, okay, he's just a little protective. So I want to throw that out there. Okay, you got the letter C, the letter F, the letter M, yay, my letter, the letter W, the universe must have known. I like this curly haired, dark skin, dark guy. Um, the letter N, the letter I, and please you guys write below if you're connecting. I love hearing your stories. The letter P, um, you know, especially with the arms, front porch, the brave, any of it, the letter A, um, or if you put words together here, cause sometimes, you know, I just don't see them. Um, and I love hearing how we're connecting. And then let's do some of the new channeled messages and see what's coming through for you guys. I'm gonna drop them and then, um, We'll see what lands in the um, in the moon, and then those are the focus ones, okay? Okay, so that one's kind of half on, half off. Let's read these first. Okay, you've got doing laundry. Oh yeah, that was funny, that came through. And so please, if that's you, write your story below or write how you connect with that. Like maybe you love to do laundry. Maybe you do it when you're stressed. Maybe you go to a laundromat and you're gonna see this guy or maybe you do your boyfriend's laundry. I don't know, but please tell me, I would love to hear it. Um, denim jacket, okay, yeah, that came through really strong. And country. Okay, now what came through with this one was um, a country music song. And, but it also at the same time when that came through, it was like, or it could be a foreign country. So you guys see which works and what the message for you is, because it'll be different for everyone. There's so many people listening. Um, but I just wanted to throw that out there because that did, there was like two different messages with that. So um, take that and leave it if it doesn't connect or resonate. But if it does, I would love to hear you guys. I love your stories. Okay, um, please turn down the volume because here come the charms. <laughs> here they come. They're going to be loud. Sorry. Okay, let's see who we have here. Um, okay, be patient. This is this funny charm that means be patient, but it doesn't look like it. Um, this is also about patience and intricate work. I associate this a lot with Virgos, but it could also be Geminis. But yeah, this this feels like Virgo energy to me. Um, you got the Lotus, which is about something coming out of dirt, this beautiful flower. And I feel like it's like this person could be someone that you didn't even realize was there or, and suddenly, you know, you're, they They've been near you or you turn around and you're like oh my god who's that cute guy like why am I have I not noticed him um you got the mask but it was backwards which means this person's very honest they always show the true self um and you got the glasses wow we got glasses twice today um you're going to get information about this person soon something's going to illuminate also he could have glasses or maybe glasses mean something to you oh look at this this is so cute you got the king and queen. You got two crowns and you got the king and queen of swords. So that's confirmation. Wow, beautiful. You guys are soulmates. You're the perfect little match. Um, you did get the spider web, which is all about protection, which you had before um, in your reading. So that's confirmation. We got the um, Viking ship, which I got between number one. You might want to watch number one too, because, um, they got the Viking ship as well. Um, and theirs was more of a pirate energy. This, I'm getting this like more travel, um, but could be Norway, could be redhead beard, but we had curly hair. Um, we didn't get the hair color, but I was feeling dark, um, hair, uh, you got Leo the lion, beautiful. Um, so lion could mean something to you or Leo. And you did get the sheep, which is all about dreaming. So both of you could be dreaming of one another. Oops, I missed one. Um, you got the palette. So this is the artist palette. Maybe you have a story about art or maybe the person is an artist or you're an artist. Um, please let me know how you resonate with that. I love it. Wow, this was so fun. Um, you got the beautiful lover's card, king and queen of swords. 
I am sending you so much love. That's major air sign, major great communication, amazing partnership. Please let me know all your stories. I love you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It's free, it's easy, and it helps so much. Throw me a like, that means a lot too. And please check out my other videos. Sending you so much love. All my links are below for the cards, by the way. Hey, number three, you picked the Rider deck. So these are your tarot cards. I also have lots of um, information with the Oracle cards. I do have new channeled messages, channeled messages and initials. Um, so we have lots of stuff. Get cozy, get comfy. I have my tea, we're all set. I want you to be happy and enjoy. Okay, let's see what we have for you today about your love. Page of Cups, beautiful energy. Okay, the Six of Pentacles reversed and the six of swords beautiful okay the high priestess under that page the empress reversed okay and the page of swords so we have two pages the six of wands okay judgment and Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love it. Love it. Love it. Feeling lots of water or energy, which was Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Okay. We'll look some more and get some other clues, but that's just right off the bat. Um, okay. Let's start here with you. So what I'm feeling like for you is that um, you are someone who is very spiritual, somebody who maybe you do tarot, maybe you are an astrologer or you, you know, you just, you know, are into crystals and connecting. Um, and I feel like the energy that's coming in for you is going to really embrace all that you are and be very emotionally connected. And this is a very successful person and a very proud person. It's like, I feel like this person is going to come like riding in and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, wow. Okay. Who is this person? Um, I do feel like they're coming from somewhere else. Either they moved, you know, to where you are or they live somewhere else. There is a little bit of fire energy there as well. Um, Leo Sag Aries. So, um, but let's see what's happening with you okay so whenever I see the Empress reversed I know that I have to tell you to take care of yourself because I do feel like you went through something possibly with a relationship with someone who, and it wasn't fair either they were cheap or they you paid for everything or it was just imbalanced and it wasn't like it just wasn't what you deserved and I'm just getting that really really strongly um, and I want you to know that the energy that's coming in is going to be beautiful and it is um, there's something that you're leaving behind there's something that you're uh, either a troubled relationship or just like being alone moving literally physically some of you moving to a new place um, but you do have some news coming and it is going to be a beautiful gift. Somebody's going to reach out to you and it's going to be fairly soon. And either at, with an offer of love, an offer of dating, an offer of, you know, just they wanted they want to go out with you um so this this person coming in is this beautiful water energy or like i said there is some fire there as well um but i am getting that proud sort of with this card that leo energy um but this is just somebody who it's like ready to give you their heart okay they're not playing around they are ready to give you their heart. And this is really beautiful energy. Um, let's get some clues about this person. Well, wow, beautiful. Summer solstice, radiance. I was feeling that Leo energy. Whenever I see the sun, I think of Leo. Um, the summer could be an important time for you guys. Um, the summer solstice is the longest day of the year. I do feel like this person is going to... Um, compliment you and also going to be a long-term relationship shaman beautiful ancient healing wisdom yes this person could be older um just someone who's wise somebody who's spiritual somebody who connects and gets it do you know what i mean clouds shape-shifting okay 
I feel like things are changing for you. And that's right under that six of swords with you leaving something behind. I do feel like you're moving into a new phase of life or you're going to move into a new relationship, but there's something beautiful changing for you. All of this tells me that this is a very spiritual connection. Um, and I really like this energy. Wow. Okay. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo right under that six of um, wands, the summer solstice. I did feel that Leo energy is coming through. So for some of you, that's confirmation. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Beautiful. Um, Libra is all about partnership. It's also an air sign. We did get some air. Um, so some of you that may be, you may be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, um, but it's about fairness and partnership under that, um, that pentacle, six of pentacles reversed. That's what I was feeling. You hadn't been in a fair relationship. Time to give, time to give rather than take new moon and Virgo. There you go. This is a new person who's going to be generous and a giver, not a taker. And I do feel this is confirmation of exactly what I was feeling, which is you were in a relationship where you have been taken advantage of in the past. Um, and this person is not like that. That's also giving you a message of um, some Virgo energy as well. Let's look at the animal cards because these are so fun. They give us some clues about the person coming in and then we'll do initials and channeled messages. I do have new ones, which are really fun. They came through this morning. So we'll see what happens and who they are for. Please leave all your comments below how you're connecting because I love it. Wait, let me take a sip of my tea. Go ahead, it's tea break. Oh, you guys do the same. <laughs> All righty. Ooh, antelope spirit. Whenever this comes up, I know it's going to happen quickly. So um, this relationship will progress quickly once it starts. And this is a person that really doesn't like take their time. This is, is going to come riding in quick. See your spirit. Wash and wait. Yes. Um, this can mean somebody that's got an eye on you. They could be watching you, not in a creepy way, through like social media or through friends. Like maybe, you know, you're a friend on Instagram and, um, you know, you're a connection and they see your stuff or one of their friends does. So they kind of can see stuff about you. Um, Oh, I love dragonfly. Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. This person is extremely honest, and that's number 22, which is a spiritual number, divine number, master number 11. Um, so if you're an 1111 person, this is confirmation. This reading is for you. Um, let's now do some of our channeled messages. Oh, let's do initials first. Let's do some initials. Okay. Wow. Okay. There must be a lot of people. Let's see what initials we get, you guys. Um, you got T, K, N, J, H, B, G, V and L. Okay, so take your time, pause the video if you want. Um, you guys are great at figuring out names and words. Um, let me know below how you connect. Let's see what channel messages we get about them. And then we're gonna do our new ones in the focus moon. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, let's see. You got this one is stuck to my hand whiskey okay so this person could like whiskey there could be a whiskey connection vacation beautiful coffee shop football the person could like football watch football play football protective love it okay friends could be through friends like i said i was picking up on them with the seahorse spirit that they could be seeing you through friends or you could meet through friends um you could be friends now boat 
cat. This person could have a cat. You could have a cat. Rich, lots of money. Um, could also just be rich in terms of their knowledge um, and their depth. You know, they're really emotionally connected. Hiking, loving outdoors, definitely feeling that hiking energy. You could meet hiking and golf. Okay, now we're going to do today's new channeled messages. Okay, we'll see what falls in the little moon lands there. Okay, I would say these three. Country, that they could be from the same country, a different country, or country music. I was telling the first group that that came through um, both ways. It also came through as like a country music song, um, or it could be lives in the country, LA, okay? And that came through, um, I think it was group one, you might wanna check that one out in case the message is for you there as well, and bike. Okay, so all of those could be important. And now let's do some charms and see everybody turn their volume down. Just a little charm warning. Um, I know that we don't want anyone getting upset. <laughs> so here we go. See what other information we get about this person. Wow, today is, okay, somebody really is, needs this message about this Viking ship. So please let me know in the comment section if this is you, because this is coming up quite a bit. Um, and whenever that happens, I know that the message is really important. And there's somebody out there that's going to tell me. Okay, we got the infinity symbol, which is beautiful. Um, it can also be an eight, um, which could be Leo, August. Um, but also it's just about a true everlasting love. Um, you did get cancer energy as well. Um, you got the snowflake, which is all about being an individual, someone that's not afraid to stand out. We got the fish, which is Pisces energy. Um, you got the hamsa, which is divinely guided, the hand of God. You also got this beautiful new little moon, which I'm feeling like this new energy of a relationship. You got the guitar, which could be a musician, um, going to listen to a concert, meeting them there, some connection there. We got money and rich and lots of possessions and um, someone who's doing really well. Um, you did get the heart. It's true love, a true love relationship. And look, you got coffee shop and the little coffee thing. So that's confirmation. Um, some of you, that's the coffee shop connection is being um, confirmed. So I love this. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, please do share all of your stories. I love connecting with you. It means the world. Throw me a like. That means a lot. And if you haven't subscribed, please click the button. It's free, it's easy, and it helps so much. And once you do, all you have to do is subscribe, like, and write your love question below. And I enter you in for my one free reading a month. Okay, guys, don't forget to watch my other videos. There should be links here and below, and all the links to my cards are below as well. Sending you so much love. I'll talk to you soon.